got waves on it today. You not got a windsurf board, Frank? Yeah. Where are you than me? Got the novelty check with me. Doing what I was supposed to try to do last week, but couldn't because I had COVID. Going to go and drop a check off, but get a picture really of um, the presentation of it to the Northwest Air Ambulance and then pick the sensor up for the fast track as well, which Rob's going to put on hopefully later. But Rob and Andrew are on a spray course. And I can tell you one thing, it's hard work carrying a novelty check across the yard in these winds. <laughs> they took off with it. There's nowhere to park, so I'm just going to dump it here for now. I'm running in, give them a check. We're just with Emma now at the Northwest Air Ambulance and she's going to tell you some killer facts about the Air Ambulance and how they've got to raise nine and a half million every year just to get them off the ground. Yeah, so the Northwest Air Ambulance, um, we have got two bases. We've got one which is in Barton and one in Blackpool. Um, so to keep the helicopters going, there we go, there's the map. Um, so to keep the helicopters uh, flying, um, we have to raise nine and a half million. And that's because we receive no government or NHS funding. So every penny that we get, is from things like what Ollie's been doing and um, with the Sunflower Maze. He's done a fantastic job, raised over three and a half thousand pounds for us, which will go such a long way to supporting the charity. So thank you to everybody that's been going to the Sunflower Maze and, and supporting the work that we're doing. And I'll put a link below the video, so if anyone just wants to dig deep today, they can do and, and donate something as well. So thanks. Thank you. So I've just been to the Northwest Air Ambulance office, as you have just seen, and I, I think it's absolutely staggering that they're completely funded by charity donations. The, the government, NHS or whatever, doesn't give them any money whatsoever to make them work. So nine and a half million is just to keep three helicopters running in the sort of Northwest region. So if you put that over the whole country, it's a lot that's got to be raised. And, but then in terms of NHS spend, do you think they'd be able to find that little bit maybe just to put there so that they all can, can run? Anyway, there's going to be a link below the video if anyone wants to donate anything because I know a lot of farmers watch and really it's it's us that use the air ambulance more than anyone or anyone that goes down the road network because if you have a crash, obviously you've got gridlock so you need to um, you need an, an air ambulance to get there through the traffic and I really need my hair cutting, don't I? Anyway, next stop now, pick up the sensor for the fast track from the Fed dealership. So we'll see if there's anything interested in their yard as well. Quick scan around the yard. An 8 to 8 here, is it? Bit of a beast. A couple of Massies. New fast track, yeah, new fast track. It's not got the new joystick yet, though, is it? Nope, same as ours. Load your shovel in New Holland. Seven one eight, little compact massy as well. Just getting another flood update now. There's actual waves on it, and there was ducks when I first pulled up. This shed's been up since two thousand and four. For some reason, I don't know where the bolt snapped where that purling goes across there. Well, that's hung down, and then it's that one snapped as well from the wind coming into the shed and buffering it. So we'll have to get up there, put that back in, and do that, but not while it's windy, it'll trap our fingers. <coughs> uh, go and play with your old trainers. Not the cat. The cat's not happy. Kermit the Frog style seed socks getting packaged up now on the, on the way to Spalding. So there's a couple of pallets heading their way. So if you've not ordered one yet, get on Spalding's website and order one. I keep saying that we need to get dynamite down so we can see what all these tractors are putting out horsepower wise. Anyway, young farmers, rain for young farmers tonight. We've got a dynamite night. So I'm doing a talk for some other people, but hopefully some of the lads or Chris up the road is going to take the MB track. I don't know whether Andrew's going to take this up there as well. But we're going to put them on the dynamometer and see what it does. So hopefully they get some videos and you can see them tomorrow because they're going to be doing them tonight, sort of between seven and half nine. So should be good. Question is though, will the MB track fit on the low loader with the case Maxim as well? 28 foot. Line that by two, 50 to 17 foot long. Is that, no, not 17 foot. 15, 14 foot each. Better stride it out. Stride it out now and see. One, two. 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, probably will because it can overhang a bit. Now you've just seen me boots stride it out. The question, without a doubt, the most times, the, sorry, the most asked question ever is what boots are worth. Don't ask me why, but once a week, someone will say what boots do I wear. Well, they are Caterpillar. I'm gonna have to get a new pair because the dogs chewed the top off them. But they're like slippers, so I think these ones were new for cereals last year. So I put them on the first morning of cereals. I had them on for two days straight, sort of 12 hours a day. Perfect. Whereas other boots used to wear buckler ones and they'd just be uncomfortable for the first week. These come for from day one and they last about a year. Get about a year out of them. These won't quite because the dogs chew the end off them. It's really annoying putting them on because there's no loop. But Caterpillar boots, I mean, I, I'll put a link below of where I get them off Amazon because I don't know where the nearest cat boot dealer is, but I'll put a link to know. So if you need some new boots, that's where you get them from. Right, it's Ask the Audience time. Birthday bumpers, some people like them, some people don't. But what is apparent is they are getting longer and taking up more time each day. So I've had an idea. Been at the Air Ambulance this morning and they have to raise nine and a half million each year, which I think is scandalous considering Network Rail got like 15 billion last year to run empty trains but you know the government really should pay for them or it should come out of some sort of health budget but anyway raising money for for helicopters the air ambulance and birthday bumpers how's it connected so i get that many requests it takes up time now the request would significantly drop if people had to pay to be on the birthday bumper so what would people's thoughts be if i set up a just giving page we sent the money direct to the air ambulance not through me because i don't want to pay the tax on it and you went on, you left a donation and someone's name for their birthday and then I then put it on the birthday bumper. So that would basically probably halve the amount of birthday bumpers, if not down to 10, 20%. It'd make it a little bit quicker for me and it'd make it a little bit quicker for those that don't want to watch the birthday bumpers. And at the same time, I'll raise much needed funds for the air ambulance. Just want to let, ask the audience anyway, what are people's thoughts on me doing that process? Because 30,000 subscribers now, if it keeps growing, they're just going to get even longer, aren't they? So what do people think? Do you think that's a good idea to, to, to sort of let people donate to charity in order to get someone's name on the birthday bumper? Let me know in the comments below anyway. I'm out of breath now from white wrapping that up. It's hard work, pallet wrap. Just had a phone call, so the Range Rover ragging around one of the fields of wheat. I'm just going to fly up on the Merlot now, but I'll probably be gone by the time I get there. Got here and there's obviously ruts all over the wheat and then there's tire marks on the road as if it's come out so i've not managed to catch it it's quite wet behind the gate this bit actually wasn't sown just just here but the rest was so you can see these ruts here where they've been driving and then if you look there's a hollow there that they've obviously been bombing through because it's had so much rain there's been puddles on it Not got enough gate blockers, so I've dug a trench now so they can't kind of get up and over it. And if they try, they get bridged on the top of it. They've smashed the fence on this field as well. I've been driving through here. It's an old rotten fence, so I've dug a trench on this one as well. This is also flooded from this dual carriageway. This is what the summer barley was on. I won't get out in the wind, but got a skip full of stuff they've rooted out there. Pile of scrap they've rooted out there. Then we've got, I don't know, maybe a third of the pile left to do. All the hardcore that's been screened out of it has been tucked back in the dump trailers and we're using that in the other yard. And then this is the soil that came out of it as well that needs uh, putting in a hole really, I suppose. Drain a feel better with it. Just quickly do the birthday bumper then I've got to go in and get changed because I'm going to talk in a bit for some farmers. Anyway, here is the birthday bumper. In fact, I could, I could read them out today. George Swinford, Amanda Payne, who's 50, Nathan Hargreaves, Sarah Styles. Julian Jones and Stuart Campbell. Happy birthday and anyone else whose birthday is today. Every track's running, the Maxim's running, the 77 is running. The Burlow's unloaded the trailer and the 724 is on the trailer. They're going to try and fit the Maxim and the MB track on it and take it to this dyno night. 
So you can catch up with that tomorrow. I'm going to have to go in and get ready now to do this talk. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.